What's up? It's Raphael with NBA Draft Junkies, and today's prospect is Paul Ibois. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But Ibois is a athletic freak that was born in Cameroon who is currently playing in Italy's top division. Let's take a look at why I believe Ibois is a future NBA player and why he should hear his name called on draft day. The first thing you'll notice is his elite athleticism and explosiveness. He's a quick twitch athlete with a massive 7-2 wingspan that can make highlight reel plays above the rim. He's also shown he has the quickness to attack closeouts and is a threat to score on straight line drives to the basket. He's far from polished on the offensive end of the floor, but should be able to carve out a role collecting easy baskets from dump offs and hustle points. At 6'8", he's undersized by traditional standards, but his game is suited for the small ball positionless basketball of today's NBA. At this current stage of his career, Ibois' motor, hustle, and energy are his best attributes and where he would be able to make a contribution on the NBA level. He's a relentless rebounder that attacks the offensive glass and scores a lot of his points on putbacks. I believe hustle and energy are two things you can't teach, and he makes up for his lack of skill with his effort. Another area where I feel Ibois can make an impact in the NBA is as a rim runner. He has the physical tools and the motor to be excellent in transition, where he would create scoring opportunities for himself or for three-point shooters due to the gravity of him running hard to the rim. At this current stage, Ibois is not a good enough ball handler to play on the wing but he's shown flashes of being effective scoring off the dribble from the mid post in certain matchups. He could develop into a decent mid post scorer once he gets stronger and becomes a better shooter. Which leads me to the most important skill set he'll need to develop to be successful in the NBA. He's far from a consistent shooter, but he'll occasionally knock down open jumpers, which gives me hope he can increase and develop his range. I think going to the right team with a good development plan could unlock his full potential. In my opinion, he's not NBA ready as of today, and a year developing in the G League could be the ideal situation. Lebois' activity is often rewarded with trips to the free throw line. He's a magnet for drawing fouls, especially when attacking the offensive glass. Although he's only playing around 20 minutes a night, he's averaging nearly three free throw attempts per game. 